All right, as you can see, the uh, valve's running again. Running pretty good. I lost a lot more transmission fluid than I thought when I disconnected the uh, transcooler lines. So this morning I didn't want to shift into gear. But essentially the whole problem started when uh, well, I replaced the distributor about two months ago. And uh, it ran great for a month. And then Kara went out at it to go and get some groceries. And just down the road here it uh, backfired and just bagged out and stayed running. But she didn't have any power and uh, it was a real issue. So I walked over there and could kind of immediately tell that the timing was just way out, way off. Uh, it would start but it would backfire and rock back and forth. And so that's when I spent at least uh, two or three days over the course of a week just trying to get it back into time in some fashion and, you know, perhaps be able to use it while I figure out what I'm going to do. Um, and no amount of adjustment would put it, would make it run correctly, so I knew Probably the timing chain had slipped, or perhaps even uh, skipped a tooth. And when I took the timing cover, timing chain cover off, it was obvious that the two gears, the one on the crank and the one on the cam, did not, they did not line up at all. Well, I shouldn't say that. They were close to lining up, but they were at least one tooth off. So, I replaced the gears and the chain, and for me that's a pretty major operation, but it wasn't that bad. What was really bad, as I mentioned in a previous video, was uh, getting the timing chain cover back on. It has two locating pins, and there's a hole through the timing chain cover to uh, match those pins. But, I couldn't get those pins to, to go in with the bolts unless I hammered the shit out of it with a rubber hammer. And uh, I could tell somebody had had to do that before because the holes are all oblong, like they're not, they're not round. So somebody had, you know, had the same problem before. And uh, also I mentioned that huge thick rubber gasket that goes against the oil pan. And that also kind of prevents the timing cover from going on smoothly. So that was the majority, that, that took like a day. Um, partly because I really didn't want to dent the shit out of it. Uh, and I didn't want to do anything wrong, so I, I took my time about it. But uh, that was the most frustrating thing was getting that damn cover up. Uh, then after getting it all back together, Karen and I tried to start it, and uh, it did start, but it was still really rough, and I could tell something still was not correct. Um, once again, no amount of turning the distributor would put it into a time that was right. So I got a whole other uh, distributor cap, because I noticed the other one I had, which was also new. Kind of, even when it was clipped in, kind of wobbled a little bit. And didn't, it didn't give me a lot of confidence that it was right down on top of the distributor. Um, and also, I decided to go ahead with the electronic distributor, or electronic um, points replacement igniter dealy. I didn't want to do that given the other problems I was having. I really wanted to put that in when the engine was running correctly, but the engine wasn't running correctly and it looked like it might still be something inside the distributor. I checked the points about 10 times and that sort of stuff. That was all okay, but I have a feeling that the uh, shitty rotor that I had and cap, the one that didn't fit right, they were making an intermittent connection on the top there for the coil, so 
I have a feeling that I had multiple problems going on there. Once I put this electronic distributor thing in, it fired up right away. And it was obvious that uh, it had taken out all those other problems. So anyway, partly uh, waiting for weather to clear and also waiting for, uh, it's been cold for around here, you know, minus five, minus six. So, <clears throat> yeah, I've been having to take breaks every 10 or 15 minutes and it's been a real hassle. Plus, you know, when I, whenever I order parts or whatever, especially if they're online, I gotta wait, wait a week for them to come in. And so, in the end, it took almost a full month. Of course, some of those weeks, I, there was no days really where I could go out and put too much time into it, so. It got delayed quite a bit. I go back to work next week, so I needed something to get into work as well. So time was uh, kind of, uh, of the essence. Anyway, yeah, it's good to have uh, the volume back. I was getting a little frustrated with how long I was taking to diagnose everything. And toward the end there, I got really worried that maybe it wasn't just the uh, timing chain, which would have been a problem because I didn't have any other ideas on what the hell was going on. I knew it pretty much had to be the case, but when it didn't start well after all that, I got pretty concerned. Yeah, get it on. <laughs> 